World War II Tech, the Tiger I Panzer VI Heavy Tank. The legendary German Tiger I has a reputation as a machine feared by the Allies, combining lethal firepower and excellent armor. The need to replace the Panzer IV goes back to 1938 when several prototypes were built. In 1941, an order was placed with Henschel for the VK-36.01 with the specification of good armor protection, a powerful gun, and a maximum speed of 40 kilometers per hour or 25 miles an hour. The tank had to be larger, and an order was placed in May 1941 for a 45-ton tank called the VK-4501. It was armed with an 8.8-centimeter .8 gun. The deadline for the prototype would be on Hitler's next birthday, April 20, 1942, forcing several elements of the design to be rushed. Once completed, it would be named the VK-4501H, the H standing for Henschel. In competition, Porsche had created its own design, the VK-4501P, to the same requirements. With both designs meeting the deadline of Hitler's birthday, the Henschel design was selected for production, designated as the Panzerkampfwagen Tiger Aus E, but eventually, the final design would use a mixture of the parts from previous prototypes by Henschel and Porsche. The Krupp turret and gun would stay the same. The crew of the Tiger tank numbered five, including the commander, gunner, loader, who sat in the turret, and the driver and radio operator in the hull. The armor was very thick, from 25 to 120 millimeters, offering excellent protection. For traveling on cross-country or preparing for combat, wider tracks were fitted, improving traction. From 1943, the 55-ton tank was powered by a V-12 Maybach HL230 P45 gasoline engine, providing 690 horsepower or 515 kilowatts. This was quite underpowered, and the tank had a top speed of 38 kilometers per hour or 24 miles per hour. One over-engineering problem with the tank was the overlapping wheel suspension, which became clogged with mud, and on the eastern front, this was especially dangerous as the mud froze, completely immobilizing the tank. The armament of the Tiger I was its deadly 88mm KWK-36 gun, capable of penetrating American M4 Sherman armor and two MG-34 or MG-42 machine guns, one coaxial in the mantlet and the other in a ball turret within the hull. Smoke discharge canisters were also positioned on both sides of the turret. The Tiger I first appeared in Tunisia, North Africa in late 1942, their appearance shocking the British forces. They were used on all fronts, including Italy, Normandy, and the Eastern Front. It was only until mid-1944 that the Allies could produce tanks that could effectively engage the Tiger tank, such as the British Sherman Firefly and the Russian T-34-85. Only 1,350 Tiger Ones were built, with production between August 1942 and August 1944. Other rare variants include the Panzer Tiger, which was a command tank, and the Sturm Tiger, which featured a large self-propelled mortar. Thank you guys for all your support on the Simple History YouTube channel. If you enjoy it, please consider visiting our Patreon page. There, you can show us your support for the channel by donating and make a huge difference in what we're able to create for you. Plus, you can get early access on upcoming videos. So let's keep it growing, and thank you for being part of this amazing community. Subscribe for more World War II videos. Get your copy of Simple History World War II today.